What it do? Con drop is with you, Kanye. A con drop is with Kanye, man. <laughs> Cause Jay got something to say. Hey, we we'll play another another set of uh Yeezy said it. Yeezy been on Tucker Carlson. Yeezy over here with this Pierre dude, Pierre Morgan dude. Yeezy been on Drink Champs and the bro Nori and them, Puff and them, deleted deleted the interview. So then Yeezy been going live, man. I'm in a copper thread, man. They've been keeping me up on where Yeezy at. Shout out to the Aqua Shamar, man. She uh, hit me with this great uh, link with Piers Morgan. So look, I'm going to play. It's like five. This clip is about five minutes. I'm going to play the whole clip. I'm going to empty out the whole clip. Then I'm going to reload, come with some ammo <laughs> on what they talking about. I mean, we already showed that they making up stuff. Oh, Yeezy said to black people, pull yourself up by your own bootstrap and, and stop looking for handouts. <laughs> and then they play the clip. He says, hey, man, stop being, stop being trauma drunk. Stop the trauma drunkenness. Stop being bound to your trauma drunk in your stupor. Wake your ass up. That's how we do it. Oh, they want to spend the black imagination on what Yeezy's saying. Oh, no, he's saying, black people, I'm super wealthy, and you poor black people, you need to stop crying over spilled milk. He didn't say that. He said, stop being trauma drunk. Were you stumbling around because you caught in the trauma instead of being in the cold, aware. Now you're doing something. That's how we take it. They can't interpret for the community. Everybody ain't got to agree with everybody, anybody, everything anybody say. No one's asking you to make a contract, believe everything contracts say. We're going to do our best to cash receipts over here. You know, put the receipts out. <laughs> and yay, yay got something to say. So I'm going to fall back, let you listen to it, and do some commenting and some news reporting, man. Copyright section 107, fair use in your caboose, bro. Let's go. Hold up, man. Let me get it popping. Karen. I'm talking you about the, I'm You don't hold accountability to my pain. You're being a Karen. I'm talking you about the, I'm talking accountability I'm not a Karen to the I'm, pain. I'm not a Karen and I'm not gonna cancel you and I'm not gonna uncense you. I'm simply gonna challenge you on what you're saying. You can, you can, I think you, you can't don't understand me. the pain that you've been causing with some of these comments. And I think that one in particular, I can understand. Oh my God. God forbid, God forbid one comment could cause people to feel any of the pain that my people have went through for years. Even like the blacks being ushered to the left during the civil rights movement. What, no why, one has cared why does about he, black why does people. He, okay, why no, does he, no, all right. no one is. Can I, I mean, say I agree that the racism against black people has been utterly deplorable, shameful, unacceptable, and thank God the world is beginning to move to a better place about the way what, what about, it is treated okay, black what people about, like you. What, however, however, it's, one form of racism yeah, no, doesn't no, it's justify... No, almost in a better place. Well, but you one see, form of see, racism doesn't justify another. Not a better I'm place. not cutting you off. I'm finishing my sentence so you can respond. One it's form not, of racism... It's not, it's one not form not of racism, racism, it is racism when you say I'm going to death so for Jewish truth. people. I was in a position where I've been hurt, and this is the way I had the right to express myself. The point of this interview is for you to question me and then for me to answer and say, okay, even though the same rules are not applied to my people, if a person with a gun or drugs is pulled over and has four, three other people in the car, they're all going to jail. I'm not going to apply that to Jewish people for the sake of this conversation. Isn't that what you wanted? But you know what you did? You tried to civil rights me. You tried to pull me back to a week ago. But we're here today. There's been plenty of converse, conversations and commentary since that. But you want me to go back to 1960. No, no, no. Here's you want, what want me to go no, back no. to seven days ago. All right, let me jump in. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to reflect. Okay, so have we grown? I... Have, we, have, we, have we grown? Here's how we have grow. We grown? Yeah. Here's how we grow. I want you to reflect. No, have we grown? I'm about have to. Have we grown? I'm about... You're not in charge of my growth. 
You're not in charge of I'm my about to Okay, let me, let me phrase grow. it like this. I'm about to suggest to you how you may grow if you choose to grow this way. And you, can, you can ignore no, me. You Pierce, can ignore Pierce, me. Pierce, 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 how much money are you worth? Not as much as you, sadly. Exactly. So take my advice. Maybe you'll get richer. I would love to take your business why advice. Why would I listen to you? I, well, why don't you, why don't you hear <laughs> what my advice is and then work out if I'm wrong? Can we do that deal? Well, the thing is, you, you haven't given me any credit or a moment of reflection for the comparison that I made, the brilliant, if I do say so myself, comparison that I made to the cops pulling over one black person and locking I everyone up. I understand what you're and saying. And my tweet having issues. I, wait a second, I wasn't done with the sentence. La, la, la. Uh, my tweet referring to all Jewish people, I said, for the sake of this conversation, I will refer to the business people who have destroyed me and my people and my fellow creatives. But you didn't even accept that I gave you that. You tried to push me back into 1960. No, I you didn't. You tried to push me back into last week. No, I didn't. Okay, I do said, you accept that example that I gave you? I understand completely the example you gave me. I think all racism is wrong. So I, just I feel that we've grown. I would like you to reflect. If I you, feel we've grown. If you, you feel we've if, grown? If you've now changed what you wanted to say originally, my question for you is, do you now regret saying I death gone free day. on Jewish people. Are you sorry you said that? No. I don't think it matters. You should be. Absolutely not. You know, I will say I'm sorry for the people that I hurt with the DEF CON, the, the confusion that I call. I feel mm. like I call I cause hurt and confusion. And I'm sorry for the families of the people that had nothing to do with the the trauma that I had been through and that I use my platform where you say hurt people hurt people, and I, I was hurt. Yeah. It's an uncensored interview. You said something which you've now wished you hadn't said, and you've apologized. I actually think that says a lot about you, right? That shows you've got that ability to mm. be self-aware, to understand when you cross a line. I think someone like you, with all your energy and creativity and your passion, you're going to say stuff the way that you talk constantly and in such an extraordinary manner, you're going to trip up. You're going to say things the wrong way. I don't think there's anything wrong in when you do that, doing what you just did and saying, look, I'm sorry, I crossed the line, I apologize. I want to say that it's wrong to hold an apology hostage mm. and I got to let go of that and free, you know, free myself of the trauma and say, look, I'm just going to give it all up to God right now and say to those families that I hurt, you know, I really want to give you guys a big hug. And I want to, uh, I say, I'm sorry for hurting you with my comments. And I want to word it in not a pres and not in like a political way, but in a presidential way, which means w w what I knew a president to be when I was growing up. We see what's up. We see what's up. They tried to get apology out of Ye. Ye say, look, man. Hey, if any, any any families or anybody, you know, took something, man, hey, I could always be better. <laughs> he didn't apologize to their community. Ye apologized to anybody, you know, who, you know, maybe didn't get the message as clear as he wanted to give it. Now we're going to hear it back with a dragonfly perspective, man. Y'all ready? <laughs> Y'all ready? Let's go, man. We popping up. You don't hold accountability to my pain. You're being a Karen. I'm talking you about... The, I'm talking, accountability I'm not a Karen. To the I'm, pain. I'm not a Karen, and I'm not going to cancel you, and I'm not going to uncense you. I'm simply going to challenge you on what you're saying. You can, you can, I think you, you don't understand me. the pain that you've been causing with some of these comments. And I think that one in particular, I can understand... Oh, my God. God forbid, God forbid one comment could cause people to feel any of the pain that my people have went through. Here's the attempt to get Ye to apologize. I don't know, unconscious or conscious, this Pierce Morgan and, you know, Kanye know they're sending people at him. 
Kanye, no. He's not really saying, please apologize. He's really saying, either apologize or we gonna try to silence you. We gonna try to silence you. He wanna go talk about the comments. The comments, Kanye say, look, man, oh, you wanna talk comments? <laughs> all the comments I've been getting, all the crazy talk I've been getting from you people, man. Oh, don't let the comments hurt you as much as my people been hurt, which is why I'm speaking out. The issue is they don't like the reaction when they or people related to them are such a big part of the problem. Historically speaking, part of the problem, you know, historically did not come over here on the side of the Kum say historically did not come over here to, uh, you know, build up our indigenous communities. They came over here helping to tear them down. Helping to build up this new white heaven in America. I'm not saying they're fully behind it because we kind of know who's fully behind it. We know about the more and more war. I'm saying them as puppets, them as participators, you know, if they're not fighting for your freedom, they're fighting with the conquistador. They're fighting with the oppressor. They're pushing the narrative of the oppression. And the narrative they're pushing right now is that easy crazy. But we say, Yeezy said it. He's talking about 12 tribes. He's, he's putting them on blast, putting them on notice of who they are. <laughs> he's saying, I, I'd rather my child know about Hanukkah than Kwanzaa. He, he's over there talking that talk. All because he Remember where this started from, back to the White Lives Matter shirt, and even before that, but this new resurgence on Yeezy, this White Lives Matter. Now you got to see the genius and these moves, because now what are we talking about? We're saying, yeah, all right, cool. Call them crazy. I got a crazy uncle. I got crazy homies. And probably, my naga, honestly, I might be crazy too. We all might be crazy, but do it mean we wrong? It means that you punk ass mother have driven us crazy. You've taken our land away. We're going crazy. But we don't blame you. <laughs> Only we can bring us down. Only the dragon can devour itself. But then when they start jumping on it and they start calling them crazy and they start censoring and Noriega and Puff Daddy and them pull the interview and yay can't even talk on the drink chance which i thought they, they talk all kind of niggerish shit right they, they talk all type of nigger them over there man but he talk about those people he gets all chase bank don't want his money nobody he's just ostracized he, they're trying to cancel him they can't cancel nobody without your approval can they cancel boosie man <laughs> Can they cancel? Can they cancel Miss Lauren Hill, man? They've they tried everything. When a naga has the community behind them, they can't cancel them because they have to follow us, our culture, what we like, what we want. They try to get you to cancel you. The dragon got to devour itself, its own tail. They got to create the opposites. The opposite narrative, the opposites, the conientio. This is alchemy. This is how you slay a dragon. This is how you slay a dragon. With the creation of opposites, according to alchemy. This is what the alchemical serpent is connected with. And who's the alchemical serpent? Who's androgyny? I'll play this back, man. You know, I'm just popping off. Let's go, man. <laughs> Drop Nation with it. For years, even like... And I think that one in particular, I can understand... Oh, my God. God forbid, God forbid one comment could cause people to feel any of the pain 
that my people have went through for years. Even like the blacks being ushered to the left during the civil rights movement. Wh no why one has cared why about does the, black why does people. The, okay, why no, does no, all right. no one is. Can I, I mean, say, I agree that the racism against black people has been utterly deplorable, shameful, unacceptable, and thank God the world is beginning to move to a better place about the way. Well, The hijack agreeing that the slavery and genocide is a bad thing. They want brownie points for that. I agree. That's deplorable. We're supposed to say, really, Massa? Really, boss? You agree? Well, good, Massa. I thought it was wrong. But that one uh, person, Pierce, he's not going to get you no reparations. He's not going to get the government to apologize. The media is not the one that invaded us. <laughs> this is a product of the invaders to keep you dumb, deaf, and blind, and distracted, and all that, right? Hijack. It's just a tool the hijack uses today. They've always used a, used propaganda. This is social media, and all that. This is their ultimate <laughs> tool, unless you wake up now, right? Unless we start popping off. And using them and not agreeing to cancel Yeezy. The Yeezy over there talking about them, not us. Don't, don't, don't spin it on us. Oh, you know, Yeezy's saying he's he's rich and you're poor, and you should pull your own self up. Do for yourself. Hey, any leader would tell you to pull yourself up. We're telling you, dodge your own hijacks. We can't dodge your hijacks. We don't know what's in your mind. What's in your mind bone? We don't know what's in your heart. Your heart bone? What's in your spirit? Your soul? Your soul bone? <laughs> that's up to you to dodge all that. We don't know all the energy you put out that's coming back to you now. Don't try to make Drop Nation wash that away. <laughs> you got to deal with that. And you don't got to drag your brothers and sisters into your trauma. Don't be trauma drunk. Stop your trauma drunkenness. You're stumbling around here looking crazy. All you got to do is MHOE, keep the most high first. That's how you try up. You come in here with all this baggage and all this stuff. You, you walking around with all this trauma. You bound to it because Yeezy said it. Yeezy talking about the so-called black struggle, which is really the Aboriginal struggle, the original man, right? The original woman, the the, the indigenous Naga, autochthonous Naga, the copper colored Naga struggle. He says, okay, yeah, I, I agree that's deplorable, Yeezy. No, you ain't hearing the point. He don't need you to agree. He don't need you to sign off on nothing. And he's going to tell him, I don't even need to listen to you, man. Let's keep getting this drop. Wait. What about, it is treated. Okay. Black what people about, like you. What, however, however, it's, one form of racism yeah, no, doesn't no, justify... No, no, it's almost in a better place. Well, like, one see, form of racism see, doesn't justify another. Not a better, and thank God the world is beginning to move to a better place about the way what, what about, it has treated okay, black what people about, like you. What, however... He said black people like you. What does black mean in their dictionary? Wicked. So he's really saying... I see the way you wicked people are treating. I see how the world has treated wicked people like you. Just pay attention. They 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 slide this in. This is that Hegelian yada yada. You know, <laughs> they just spewing they stuff, man. Listen. However, it's one acceptable, and thank God the world is beginning to move to a better place about the way what, what about, it is treated. Okay. Black what people about, like you. However, however, it's, one form of racism yeah, no, doesn't no, it's justify... No, almost in a better place. Well, like, one see, form of... So one form of racism doesn't justify you being racist towards the Jewish. Kanye didn't say nothing racist. Racist. <laughs> against those people. By claiming your identity and saying... Why don't I get this love? Why you get all the love? I can't claim being a child of the most high. 
I can't claim being a child of Judah, of Israel. I can't get the same love you getting. You sharing the wealth with you, but you ain't sharing it with so-called black people who are the uh, tribe of Judah, tribe of Israel. Yash, <laughs> We, we, we right here on our land, and you come over here massacring everybody. You say, I agree, that's deplorable. What are we going to do with that? Why don't your people that can do something about it agree with that? That's what Ye's saying. He ain't, it ain't about you, Pierce Morgan. Your people, <laughs> they got the queen over there rocking her jewels, stolen jewels, stolen gold, representing the colonizers, representing the conquistador. We know them real Portuguese and Spanish are our people, look just like us. But y'all over there playing your role, you're playing your part. You agreeing in the media is not your people pushing our equality or even more, our redemption. You're not pushing us, uh, you know, being back into, instead of disenfranchised, being enfranchise you, you're not pushing them to give us our things back is all i'm saying you, you don't have no narrative to help us get our stuff back but you can say yeah well that's crazy yeah you're right it wasn't me it wasn't me well how come you're not trying to help by not doing nothing that's an action you're doing something if i stand by and let the homie get smiley whopped i'm just standing by i'm not beating them up but I'm sure not helping. And I'm sure the homie gonna look at me like, damn, homie, you might as well have been with them. I can't say you're my homie. That's what Yeezy's saying. How come we can't be homies? I'm Jew, right? You, you Jewish? I'm Yuda. I'm Yahuda. But you calling me black. You calling me wicked. Form of this racism doesn't justify another. It's not a better place. I'm not cutting you off. I'm finishing my sentence so you can respond. One it's form not, of racism. It's not, it's one not form of racism, racism. It is racism when you say I'm going death for so Jewish truth. people. I was in a position where I've been hurt, and this is the way I had the right to express myself. The point of this interview is for you to question me and then for me to answer and say, okay, even though the same rules are not applied to my people, if a person with a gun or drugs is pulled over and has four, three other people in the car, they're all going to jail. I'm not going to apply that to hey, pal. He's saying for your sake. I'm not going to put you all in one basket because there's good people everywhere. He ain't being racist or anti-Semitic when he's telling them. He's saying I'm Shemitic. I'm Shem. So you're saying a black person going to be racist against black people. Well, now, now you got to get a little deeper. <laughs> and now you're talking tribes. But they're not going that deep. They're just saying, you're racist towards our Jewish community. He's saying, I'm Jew. I'm telling you something. I'm telling my people something. And I'm telling you, whether you know it or not, this is what's going on. I'm the richest nigga alive. <laughs> I'm the richest Negro alive. Let me tell you how they treat me. Kanye going crazy. Yeah, he going crazy. Who's driving him crazy? But it's a long laundry list of people driving Kanye crazy. But it doesn't mean he's wrong. And we ain't afraid of crazy. We got a crazy uncle, crazy cousin. And my naga, we kind of crazy too. <laughs> all of us got some crazy in us. So that's not going to scare us off with the narrative of Kanye's crazy. That's not going to scare off these nagas because we know crazy. <laughs> we know crazy. That's the homie. Crazy is family. What kind of crazy are we dealing with? A lying ass crazy? Or truth telling, fact dropping, bombshell dropping, mind blasting crazy that is worth 11 billion, 11 billion playing your game? And he's going to ask this to Brony. How much are you worth? Because I got to talk money to you so you 
understand me that I've played this better than you. How crazy could I be if I played you and beat you at your own game? How crazy can I be? Let's get to Jewish people for the sake of this conversation. Isn't that what you wanted? But you know what you did? You tried to civil rights me. You tried to pull me back. To if a person with a gun or drugs is pulled over and has four, three other people in the car, they're all going to jail. I'm not going to apply that to Jewish people for the sake of this conversation. Isn't that what you wanted? But you know what you did? You tried to civil rights me. You tried to pull me back to a week ago, but we're here today. There's been plenty of converse, conversations and commentary since that, but you want me to go back to 1960. No, no, no. Here's you want, what want me to go no, back no. to seven days ago. All right, let me jump in. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to reflect. Okay, so have we grown? I, have, we, have, we, have we grown? Here's how we have grow, we yeah. Here's how we grow. I want you to reflect. No, have we grown? I'm about have to. Have we grown? I'm about, You're not in charge of my growth? You're not in charge of I'm my about growth, to, Chris? Uh, okay, like, let me, here's how let me we phrase grow. it like this. All this Gibraltar can say is, oh, here's how I'm going to be, how we grow. He's asking a real question to real Nagas and even these jabronis. Have we grown? So much has happened in a week. And you're still seven days late because you need that narrative for your producers. <laughs> they want that narrative. What I said about Jewish people. I've said a lot in the whole week. They've said a lot about me, but you're still seven days ago. You're trying to slavery us. What do they do? Give a slave movie, slave movie, mother sucking slave movie. <clears throat> they don't, they finally took us to a variation of, you know, high tech, futuristic Black Panther, right? but then they always got to take us back to Africa. We ain't from no Africa. This is the issue that Ye's bringing out. Like this, I'm about to suggest to you how you may grow if you choose to grow this way. And you, can, you can ignore no, me, you Pierce, can ignore Pierce, me. Pierce, Pierce, how much money are you worth? Not as much as you, sadly. Exactly. So take my advice. Maybe you'll get richer. I would love to take your business advice. Why would I listen to you? I, well, why don't you, why don't you hear <laughs> what my advice is and then work out if I'm wrong? Can we do that deal? Well, the thing is, you, you haven't given me any credit or a moment of reflection for the comparison that I made. Why would I listen to you? I'm not over here abusing children. I'm not over here breaking the law. I'm a man with a vision, a proven vision. I got apparel that's selling out the stores. I got, you know, I got, I own my masters. <laughs> I'm, I'm a producer extraordinaire. I, I've been everywhere. I've been on stage. I, I've, I've done all these things that you can't do. This is your platform or you're a part of this platform here. All right, cool. But how much are you worth? And yeah, it's not about just money. But you can't call me crazy. If my vision has proven to be what it is. You can't call Yeezy crazy. Unless he's literally doing crazy stuff. <laughs> and you know. Let let him tell it and let him explain his actions. You know what I'm saying? It is it is what it is, man. But he got to, you know, gut check these people, man. He got to hold check these people, man. He got to put them in their place. They're not used to having no billionaire uh, uh, Naga on their platform. So you got to tell them. You got to remind them so much that it seemed like he, he's throwing it in their face. <laughs> but he's proud of what he's, you know, been able to accomplish. And if they're just going to call them crazy, then you're going to have to call every visionary crazy and every artist crazy and true artists. And everybody is going to be a little off balance, especially when they're being attacked, especially when they might have, you know, made some mistakes. I'm not justifying every deal Kanye could have made to get into these industries like that. I don't know. I can't confirm or deny. 
He's definitely dealing with something, though. And he got a whole check. His, uh, you know, <laughs> he got to put his hand down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to put that hand strong sometime on IJ. Person that I made to the cops pulling over one black person and locking I everyone understand up. understand what you're and saying. my tweet having issues. I, wait a second, I wasn't done with the sentence. La, la, la. Uh, of my tweet referring to all Jewish people, and I said, for the sake of this conversation, I will refer to the business people who have destroyed me and my people and my fellow creatives. But you didn't even accept that I gave you that. You tried to push me back into 1960. No, I you didn't. You tried to push me back into last week. No, I didn't. Okay, I do said... you accept that example that I gave you? I understand completely the example you gave me. I think all racism is wrong. So I, just I feel that we've grown. I would like you to reflect. If I you feel we've grown. If you, you feel we've if, grown? If you've now changed what you wanted to say originally, my question for you is, do you now regret saying I death gone free day. on Jewish people. Are you sorry you said that? No. Don't think it matters. You should be. Absolutely not. You know... He, he just said no, absolutely not. The title of the video is Ye, formerly known as Kanye, apologizes for anti-Semitic tweet. <laughs> they just asked, do you regret it? He said, absolutely not. It seemed like he doubled down to me. Somebody left a comment. This should be called Yay Doubles Down <laughs> on his stance. He didn't flip. Like some people flipped on him. We ain't too happy with that Nori thing, man. We ain't too happy with you, Nori, when, on this one, man. This was your chance to ride with the wave. I know you built Drink Champs, DJ EFA. I know, I know y'all, y'all built up that. You got it on Revolt. But that's what happens when you still got masters. You're on somebody else's platform. Y'all should be on your own platform where no one can just hit you up like that, man. Make you fold like that, man. I know you're trying to protect what you're doing, but this wasn't the time to do it. It's a time to stand up, man. I can't tell everybody when their time is, but for Nori and them, you know, this proves a lot. All they're doing is proving a lot of what Ye talking about. We we watched the video, a lot of us. We w watched it live, you know. Copper Thread had it up, you know, had the links up. We watched it live, man. We watched the drink chat. He said a lot. The people need to hear everything he said. The fear made you take it down, Nori. The fear made you take it down, Puff. The fear made you take it down, man. And you chose fear over the real, over the love, over the Ahab. Because he's speaking up for you, man, believe it or not, so that you don't have to keep censoring your platform within a platform. But you thinking, without these people, I ain't going to get paid. You chose money and you chose fear over the real. Because you want to write Ye off as crazy too when Ye's saying, we the tribe. He's telling you on your platform. You can't even say, please go into that. We want to learn more about that. Now you just say, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So take another shot. Take another shot. Yeah, yeah, you see the play? Yeah, you see the play. Because Yeezy said it. I will say I'm sorry for the people that I hurt with the DEF CON, the, the confusion that I call. I feel mm. like I call I cause hurt and confusion. And I'm sorry for the families of the people that had nothing to do. He's talking about the families and the people, period. He's not saying I apologize to the Jewish community, the Jewish media. He said, look, no, I don't I don't take nothing back. I absolutely not. I don't apologize. <laughs> but to the people, anybody that's hurt, the families with these tweets, whatever, that it didn't get clearly, I didn't clarify it enough. I'm sorry to y'all. He didn't say nothing about one specific community giving one specific community no apology. But these jabronis spin it as, yay, apologizes uh, for his anti-Semitic tweet. Now, he said, if you took it this way, you that way. He didn't apologize to you jabronis, but they sent him to get an apology.
Do they want the apology or do they want to send a message apologizing, nigga? Or are we going to silence? <laughs> Which one is it, man? For the disc, man. To do with the hmm? so I, I just feel that we've grown. I would like you to reflect. If I you, feel we've grown. If do you, you feel we've if, grown? If you've now changed what you wanted to say originally, my question for you is, do you now regret saying I death gone every free day. on Jewish people? Are you sorry you said that? No. I don't think it matters. You should be. Absolutely not. You know, I will say I'm sorry for the people that I hurt with the DEF CON, the, the confusion that I call. I feel mm. like I call her, I call You just apologize for confusion, but just look how they did that cut. Clearly there was more in there when he said absolutely not, and then it cut, you know what I'm saying? So we need that unedited drop, man, because I think he probably went in again. <laughs> right about they said, nah, we can't even show this. Every platform he on, he get the censored, un, un, un uh, released. You know, they don't release everything, which lets to any sensible person about freedom of speech and, you know, about hearing people out and giving them honest opportunities to express opinions. You got to look at this and say, yo, why are they doing all this censoring and editing? I can't say he's crazy when they ain't giving me everything. They're not giving me the information to call him crazy. And so what if he crazy? We, <laughs> crazy is everybody. So, oh, yeah, he's crazier than you because you get in line. Because you do what masses say. <laughs> but can you build like yay? Can you visualize like yay? <laughs> can you produce like yay? Yeah, okay. Can't be that crazy. And he ain't over there violating our code in terms of, you know, uh, you know, street codes and, and, and how he treats, you know, people and, and, you know, he's not violating women. He's not violating children. He's not doing none of that stuff. He's telling you, you the children of Israel. He still got his uh, Christos. You know, we, we still hear blood of Christ, blood of Christ. But yeah, he's on a journey, you know what I'm saying? And what's next? I mean, once you start talking 12 tribes of Israel, you know, the next couple questions is... <laughs> You know, where am I from, right? And, you know, being indigenous, you know, you 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 start to see clearly that we connect hijack free with our great spirit as indigenous people, with our most high over everything, with our creator. Yeah, he's right there. He's turning that corner. You're going to support him or you're going to let him hang, let him be, you know, burnt burned by this uh, fiery snake, this serpent, this alchemical serpent. So we put all that crazy and we embrace the crazy and we say, look, your business with your family and your wife and all this, it's only, you know, uh, in this day and age that we feel privy to all this stuff, man. But what you're doing and what you're saying takes a lot of uh, courage. Clone or not, MK Ultra or not, distraction or not. They got the people talking and a few people, you know, seeing what we're doing and, you know, with a different lens. They say, you know, Yeezy, Yeezy said it. Let me go see what they talking about in Drive Nation, man, because I've been hearing these whispers, man, <laughs> for the distance. I cause hurt and confusion. And I'm sorry for the families of the people that had nothing to do with the the trauma that I had been through and that I use my platform where you say hurt people hurt people and I I was hurt yeah. it's an uncensored interview you said something which you've now wished you hadn't said and you've apologized I actually think that says a lot about you right that shows you've got that ability to mm. be self-aware the malarkey Pierre Pierce cut the malarkey man oh you know what? Thanks for that. He just took it and created an apology out of it. Now he's patting Kanye on the head. Good boy, good boy. We'll take that. From from Crazy Ye, yeah, you didn't mention us and it wasn't sincere, but we'll take that. Good boy. See, now I, I think you're being a good boy. And we we think that because you did that, hey, 
You can do anything. You can do any. You can be anybody. He's patting Yeezy on the head. Yeezy know he's getting pat on the head. That's why he's smiling like where to understand when you cross a line to understand when you cross a line to who not to our people to the uh jewish people did he apologize he said absolutely not i don't think he understands we this point what he, what he understands is that this is how you react when the lens is being turned right back on you the mirror is reflecting your guilt your fear your abrasive need to control the narrative, even when you lie to our face, we are wide aware. We ain't sleep no more. We ain't in trauma and drunkenness no more. We ain't in no spirit of stupor no more. A lie, why? I think someone like you, with all your energy and creativity and your passion, you're gonna say stuff. The way that you talk constantly and in such an extraordinary manner, you're going to trip up. You're going to say things the wrong way. I don't think there's anything wrong in when you do that, doing what you just did and saying, look, I'm sorry, I crossed the line, I apologize. I want to say that it's wrong to hold an apology hostage mm. and I got to let go of that and free, you know, free myself of the trauma and say, look, I'm just going to give it all up to they they clearly cutting up this thing. They say uncensored, but we know they lying. They they censored the crap out of this little clip. Um, he said, "Hey man, could be a good boy, man. We 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 know you're crazy, but when you say wrong things, just apologize. It's gonna make it better." And then they cut to a clip of him saying, "Yeah, it's not good to hold an apology hostage. You know, he just apologized to anybody who was confused, <laughs> not to a specific community." And then they want to take that and say, yep, he apologized, not for their sake, but just to really, you know, drudge him down, to, to bring his character, to see we got Ye to apologize. He apologized like a good boy so that the black community could say, oh, Ye folded like Noriega and Puff did. Nah, Yeezy didn't fold, Yeezy doubled down, and they put clips in to make it seem like He's apologizing to them. I don't want to hold an apology hostage. He ain't talking about y'all. He's saying period. Like anybody thinks as a person that they've been done wrong, you know, for the, if that person has any validation at all, <laughs> you know what I mean? If they lie and they lie, but if they have any validation and you know what's up, you're giving that apology. Don't hold that back. That's all he's saying. He's not apologizing to their communities. This is crazy talk, but yeah. To God right now and say to those families that are hurt, you know, I really want to give you guys a big hug. And I want to, uh, I say, I'm sorry for hurting you with my comments. And I want to word it in not a pres and not in like a political way, but in a presidential way, which means w w what I knew a president to be when I was growing up. Pals. He, he wants to word it not a political but a presidential way. Do you think the you think the president means what he says he's sorry? So he's wording it in a presidential way. The president apologizes for a lot of stuff for a lot of people just to be politically correct, but he's mainly being presidential. He just wants you to vote for him. So Kanye wording his apology in a presidential way is not a sincere thing. He just, look, man, just vote for me. <laughs> just speak highly of me, man. But I'm not apologizing to you. I'm apologizing to anybody confused. The families that are confused, if they happen to be a part of your community, cool. But this is not an apology to the Jewish community. <laughs> it's an apology to all the confused people. That's the best he can do for y'all. And I guess you accept. I guess you accept. Hey, thank y'all. The water for surfing the wave with another uh <laughs> with another flow of uh Yeezy said it, man. <laughs> another episode of Yeezy said it. I'll be tuning in like you tuning in. You got some links, you know. We're gonna get back to uh our uh, quantum flow. We're gonna get back 
to drop and press the John. What are we on 104 exclusively at 432 to drop.com. Like I said, as we transition to our own platform, so no one can censor us like they're censoring. Yay. You know, because Khan drop. I'm going to lift up Kanye in this time. I'm going to go against the grain of what I see. Everybody and their mama, especially our people, writing off Yeezy because of the white lives matter. What does white mean, man? Come on, he's playing with y'all. He's starting this narrative. Now we're talking Israelites. Now we're talking about imposters. Now we're talking about colonizers and invaders. <laughs> Come on. That white lives matter, man, means pure, pure, pure lives matter. Didn't don't pure lives matter? And to be pure, you got to keep the code. So what Kanye's really saying with a dragon flit eye perspective is code keepers matter. Ping pow. And hey, we got you, Yeezy. Body bad. Hey, stay, stay posted, man. Um, you know, we settling in around here. A lot more drop. It's about to be popping off right here. 432 to drop radio. So please keep tuning in with the water to our contributors, our dragon sponsors on the wall. Everybody that just remembers, you know what I'm saying, that we all need each other and we definitely need our noggins, you know what I'm saying, Um, because we got a vision too, you know what I mean? And the water to all my noggins that just pray and, and just meditate on on great pure water energy to flow through drop nation we appreciate your prayers your meditation you know what i'm saying your your positive thoughts everything you're giving us you know what i'm saying because you know you got folks that have the opposite you know what i'm saying so we know that our positivity our a hop um is always going to outweigh all that you know confusion <laughs> anybody's confused man we apologize man how about that man because yeezys <laughs> a hop to the tribe a hop to the real ones Allah